Wild math. How many fish are in this lake? To access the complete written version of this activity, visit the website listed. Here you will find the background information as well as the necessary student activity pages that you will need to copy for the students. Basics. Suggested grade levels 5 through 9. Subject, Mathematics. Skills, Computation, Graphing. Correlation to the Illinois Learning Standards, Mathematics 6B, 10A. Materials, copies of the student activity page. Objectives. Students will, one, identify the value of stocking, a commonly used fisheries management technique, and two, analyze the results of a fish stocking project. Method. Students will use a real-life example to perform calculations and explore the reasons that fishes are stocked in lakes and ponds. Activity. A landowner may choose to add fishes to a lake or pond to increase the variety of species found there or to be able to catch particular types for food or sport. Adding fishes in this manner is called stocking. In Illinois, some of the most popular fish species that are stocked in ponds and lakes include largemouth bass, bluegill, and crappie. Some species are stocked when they are quite small, known as fingerlings, while others are stocked when they are almost half grown. Properly stocking a pond or lake is a science that takes into account the size of the water body and what species are already living in the fish population. The following problem is an example of what happened in Lake Jacksonville, owned by the City of Jacksonville and managed by the Illinois Department of Natural Resources. The lake is located in West Central Illinois. Special thanks to Dan Stevenson, IDNR Fisheries Biologist, for providing the information. Lake Jacksonville is a 475-acre fishing lake. Because of the beautiful scenery surrounding Lake Jacksonville, a large number of anglers fish there each year, even though very few fishes were caught. The anglers' most common complaints were that it took a long time to catch a fish and that they rarely caught largemouth bass, white crappie, and channel catfish, their favorite species. To correct this situation, fisheries biologists decided to remove all of the existing populations of fishes and restock Lake Jacksonville with the correct number and species of fishes that would reestablish a healthy community. During this renovation, biologists determined the lake's total poundage of fishes or standing crop. The standing crop is usually expressed as pounds per acre. Note to the teacher, the following slides are the math activity slides. This video allows five seconds per slide for the students to calculate the answer. If you would like more time, please pause the podcast. This table lists the species and weights of the fishes removed from the lake. Calculate the total weight of all the fishes removed from Lake Jacksonville. The correct answer, 202,350 pounds. Calculate the standing crop of each of the species. Your answer should be expressed as pounds per acre. Start with carp. The correct answer is 191 pounds per acre. Gizzard Shad The correct answer, 156 pounds per acre. Bullheads The correct answer, 27 pounds per acre. Yellow Bass The correct answer, 26 pounds per acre. Bluegill. The correct answer, 7 pounds per acre. Largemouth bass. The correct answer, 7 pounds per acre. Channel catfish. The correct answer, 5 pounds per acre. Green sunfish. The correct answer, 4 pounds per acre. White crappie. The correct answer, 3 pounds per acre. Calculate the standing crop of Lake Jacksonville. The correct answer, 426 pounds per acre. You can also check your answer by adding the numbers in this column. Construct a bar graph to show the weight in pounds for each species. On the left vertical axis, set a line from 0 to 100,000. This represents the number of pounds of each fish species. On the horizontal axis, list each species. 
For each species, mark the appropriate number of pounds listed on the left vertical axis. What percentage by weight of the community was made up of largemouth bass, crappie, and catfish, the angler's favorite species to catch? There are 202,350 total pounds of fish. Largemouth bass, crappie, and catfish make up 7,125 pounds of this total. The correct answer, 3.5%. Note to the teacher, four discussion questions are next. This video allows five seconds per question for you to pause the podcast for classroom discussion. For the correct answers, please refer to this website. The weight in pounds removed was equal for both bluegill and largemouth bass. Would this result mean that there were equal numbers of fishes of each of these species? Why or why not? Why do you think the standing crop of carp was so large? Why are gizzard shad important to the lake? Is stocking an aquarium the same as stocking a pond? Note to the teacher, the following slides contain more math activities. This video allows five seconds per slide for the students to calculate the answer. If you would like more time, please pause the podcast. Lake Jacksonville was restocked using this rate. 100 largemouth bass, 500 bluegill, 200 red ear sunfish, and 100 channel catfish per acre. The fishes were one to three inches in size. There are 475 acres in this lake. How many of each species were added to the lake? 100 largemouth bass per acre in 475 acres. The correct answer is 47,500 largemouth bass. 500 bluegill per acre in 475 acres. The correct answer is 237,500 bluegill. 200 red ear sunfish per acre in 475 acres. The correct answer is 95,000 red ear sunfish. 100 channel catfish per acre in 475 acres. The correct answer is 47,500 channel catfish. How many fishes total were added to the lake? The correct answer is 427,500 total fishes. Three years later, white crappie, 8 to 10 inches long, were added to the lake. Hybrid striped bass have been added every other year since the crappies were stocked. Channel catfish have been stocked every other year since 1988. Let's compare the species removed from the lake with those restocked in the lake. Removed species were common carp, gizzard shad, bullheads, yellow bass, bluegill, largemouth bass, green sunfish, white crappie, and channel catfish. Restocked species were largemouth bass, bluegill, red ear sunfish, channel catfish, white crappie, and hybrid striped bass. How many species were the same? Note to the teacher, seven discussion questions are next. This video allows five seconds per question for you to pause the podcast for classroom discussion. For the correct answers, please refer to the website listed. Why do you think that some of the species removed were not added back to the lake? Why do you think it was not necessary to restock gizzard shad in the lake? If the fishes in the lake were all removed now, many years after the restocking discussed in this activity, do you think that fish species other than the six that were restocked would be found? Why or why not? How would other fish species enter the lake? Why do hybrid striped bass and channel catfish need to be added regularly to the lake? What do you predict would happen to this lake in 10 years if stocking and other management techniques were stopped today?
Reference, adapted with permission from Wild in the Woods, Virginia Department of Game and Inland Fisheries, May 1995.